Hello all, welcome back to the YouTube channel, The Engineer in Service. Right, so the next thing is, we need to find out how to measure an angle and distance using total station, right? So, uh, for that, we have to go to SHV option, right? SHV mode, right? So I escape from this uh, button. I escape from this page, and I I'm I'm looking for a SHG option. Now here there is a mod called SHG, right? If we press SHG, now you see uh, it displays S S H N V, right? S means the slope distance, H is the horizontal distance between two. Uh, this between instrument and the uh, reflector and V is the vertical difference between the 2D N axis and the uh, ax uh, horizontal axis of this uh, target prism right that is the vertical difference V right now um, we are going to find the angle first right so now we uh, let's say now we are doing a traverse we are doing a traverse using total station. This is how we are doing, right? Similarly, you need to set up the instrument and uh, all, uh, make all the EDM changes as we did for the orientation process. But here, for the angle measurement and the distance measurement, you don't need to orient the instrument. Without orienting the instrument also, you can measure the angles and distances. So this is how we are doing. Now I'm going to measure the clockwise angle between 9000 9,012 from 9,011 so the instrument uh, has been set up uh, above the 9,011 so we are going to measure the clockwise angle that one from the instrument right so first uh, I need to make it uh, face lift like this and then now I am targeting the um, prism And I need to move my head side by side and see whether any parallax error, if it is there, I need to correct it from the focusing screw, now it's fine. Now I need to go to, uh, again, I need to see the angles, for that I go to SHG mode back, right? So when I see the SHG mode, I, I can see the HAR is 155, 37, 37, like that. So I, I need to give a predefined angle to the face left of uh, this line, right? So I go to H set. If I go to HZ, there is one option called angle and other one is called uh, coordinate. So we go to angle. Mm -hmm. So I give the predefined angle here. So I, I like to give 5, right? 5 for this one. So I, I click 5, press 5 and click OK. Now the uh, angle I have given for that this station is 5, right? So now I'm going to turn the instrument clockwise like this. Clockwise in face left operation and going to target. So that uh, that one Right. Now you can record the angle. It is 213, 21, 30. Right. Anybody can record the angle. 213, 21, 30. That is the face lift. Uh, yes. First right uh, face lift angle to 9011, 9012 line. Right. Then, oh, right. It is 2, 13, 21, 30 seconds, right? The first one is 5. Put it as 5. This is 9010, right? That line. That line. 9011, 9012 line. This is 2, 13, 
21 21 seconds. 30 seconds right these are the two face lift angles we obtain from uh, for 9000 11 9010 line this is 5 9011 9012 line right so if i draw it uh, like this this is uh, Nine thousand ten. This is nine thousand eleven. This is nine thousand twelve. Here we have observed five. Here we have observed two hundred thirty. Twenty-one. Thirty. So this is the angle we have turned right. Clockwise angle. So now we need to get the face right reading, right? How we are going to get the face right reading? So we need to transit the telescope above the Trojan axis. So you know that the, this uh, angle reading increases when this upper plate, upper plate is turning about the instrument axis, right? Now the upper plate is not turning, right? In that case, the angle is not going to change, but the direction is going to change by one meter because we are going to uh, turn. For the transit the telescope about Trojan axis, so now I have transited it. So now the difference between that direction and this direction is one eighty. Therefore, when if I need to target back to the nine thousand twelve, I need to turn the instrument by one eighty. When I am turning the instrument one eighty, now it registers the turning angle because the uh, upper plate is turning about the instrument axis, right? So. I'm turning it. And clamping screws. Right, it is thirty-three twenty-one thirty-three. Thirty-three twenty-one thirty-three. Yes. Right. Now we need to get the face right reading of nine thousand ten. So. Is one eighty five zero minutes and four seconds. Now you see how close it is, right? If the instrument is made perfectly, right, without any instrumental errors, the face right reading should be exactly one eighty five because the face left reading is five. There should be only one eighty uh, degrees difference between the face left and right. But since it is not perfectly made, right. There's a slight error of four seconds, right? So uh, we need to record this and get the average or the mean of these angles, right? This is how we are doing it. Now we know that this is five. This is one eighty five zero four. So even though this is this is one eighty five, we know that the one eighty five has come because we transit the telescope about to the axis. Therefore. The difference between the face left and right is 180, right? In that case, 
we can reduce that 180 which was added to the face right reading from this face right reading and then get the mean right so when we deduct 180 from this face right reading it is uh, one uh, it is 504 here we have 500 right so we have to get the average of 500 and 504 right so it is 0502 seconds right that is the mean here also like that here even though it is mentioned 33 this is this has uh, uh, has the reading of 180 greater than this 230 so when we add the 180 it has turned 360 full circle right full circle and additional 33 degrees right that's why it is mentioned as 33 right but we know that it is uh, not 33 it is 360 plus 33 21 33 point uh, sorry uh, 33 seconds so therefore from that we need to minus 180 so uh, it is then like um, 3 uh, 393 from we need to deduct 360 from sorry 180 from 393 21 33 seconds right when you deduct 180 from 393 21 33 seconds uh, the answer is 213 21 33 so here we have 213 21 30 right the average between the mean value uh, of these two values is 213 21 31.5 seconds right so then the reduce angle should be we need to deduct this uh, 5 5 degrees 0 minutes and 2 seconds from this value right so it is uh, just like 29.5 seconds and 19 uh, minutes and 208 degrees that is the included angle between 9010 and 9012 measured from 9011 this angle is 208 29.5 right that is how we get this the next thing is in the traverse we need to get the distance now you know that uh, this is a control line therefore we don't need to get the distance here because we have coordinates we can calculate the distance using Pythagoras theorem right but in this line let's assume that this is not a control line this is somewhere this is a traverse traverse station in that case we need to find out the distance from 9011 to 9012 right for oh, that again I'm, I'm going to use i prefer to use face uh, left for distance measurement so uh, i target back to the 9012 and focus perfectly and now I need to measure the distance right so that I can use uh, measure option here if, if there is measure I will try to find out measure here but measure is not there in that case uh, I, I can use this button right this is called the toggle key right if I press this button in this total station right this is called top code this is top code model right if I press this one automatically the distance will come right now you see the SA the slope distance is 50.389 the horizontal distance is 50.387 vertical difference is 0 0.4017 right this is just like this now i have set the total station here and this is my prism somewhere there right this is the H, this is hd o h a right h a is 50.387 right and sa that means slope slope distance 
SA is 50.389. Now you, you know always this uh, slope angle is greater than the horizontal distance in a um, right angle triangle, right? And this is minus. Minus means from this level you have the vertical difference of 0 0.4017 meters right 17 meters uh, from the level of the horizontal axis of origin of the telescope and uh, between the uh, uh, axis of the uh, target prism right so that is the meaning of that but here for the traversing we are only going to record this horizontal H, uh, horizontal distance h a right 50.387 Four. Here we get it up to fourth decimal place, but in settings we can change it, right? So it is better to uh, round off it to the third decimal point, right? So that is how we do the traversing, right? Now today now you learned how to do the traversing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Coming up next is orientation of a total station. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and click the bell button for more of the very latest videos.